This all started when I first got my Steam Deck and I fired up Mini Hockey Champ for fun and very quickly found myself an hour into a just one more gameplay session. Mini Hockey Champ is the epitome of potential and missed opportunities. I relive the highs and lows and all the frustrations and compromises I had to make at the time. I think I can make a better hockey game now, so I'm giving it a shot. I dug back into my old code and Unity scenes, but none of it was really salvageable. The game assets, though, they're totally fine, and the player models were more or less plug and play. Uh, I just had to figure out how big they needed to be for the larger surface. The new rink assets here uh, for this prototype are roughly standard, maybe a bit wider or longer, I forget. The goal is pretty big, but so are the players, so I think it works. These sizes feel good. I'm starting here. I only set up a few animations since that's really all I need for the moment. It's a bit clunky looking at times, but more than enough to start working out game feel. AI is super basic and mostly brain dead, but again, just trying to get the feel right for gameplay. How fast things should travel, how big the puck needs to be, etc. The goalies are just glorified trash cans, you, know, you get the idea. Before I get into it, if you're interested in this game so far, a friendly reminder to like, subscribe, and follow me on social media. Growing this channel means more folks find good games to play. It's win-win. Okay, so the new stuff. Job number one was to figure out passing, since Mini Hockey Champ technically doesn't have that. What I have feels pretty good, with plenty of room to grow. Passing also means one-timers, which of course are friggin' glorious, but completely overpowered. But mostly glorious. It's impossible to not enjoy pulling these off. Instead of the deke mechanic in Mini Hockey Champ, I'm experimenting with Sunday Rival style jukes. I'm not binary mapping them left and right on the controller, but rather using a single button press plus a directional movement, which I think works better for hockey. With animations and ratings, this could lead to a really cool system. Also new here is backward skating, which you get by holding down the left trigger. I think this works great, makes defense feel like defense, and it's really fun on offense too. On the right trigger, I'm experimenting with a hold down turbo button that limits your agility in exchange for speed. It's not quite landing for me yet, and skating in general feels a bit on the slow side, but I'm enjoying playing on the bigger ice surface a lot. On the defensive side, I've added poke checks to complement body checks. They're fun, but without a way to protect against them, they feel too easy to pull off right now. The puck carrier sometimes falls down too, but I imagine more of a stumble or trip animation in its place one day. Structurally, this prototype is built around a full-featured practice mode, so it starts with just you and the puck on the ice, free to skate and do whatever you want. Camera follows just you and not the puck. I see this setup as a great way to learn the controls and maybe add training things like cones or even full drills to practice and master. Then from the menu, you can easily switch to scrimmage mode and add or remove players on each side, turn off the goalies, etc. Between this and practice mode, I think there's potential for like a robust set of activities to complement regular games. So this is being built as a three on three game. I started with three, then added five, then settled back down on three. Five on five quickly felt too constraining for the type of game I want to make. I want to take advantage of having all that open eyes to do whatever fun arcade stuff I can think of. You can always pull your goalie if you really want more players on the ice. At the moment, you can't actually play a real game yet, but that stuff will be easy to incorporate once I'm ready for it. Things like face-offs and line changes would be part of that work. So far, I don't really have any concrete plans or order of operations. I'm just making fun stuff. Likewise, I'm not really thinking about larger systems yet, so everything franchise and customization, they're all on the table, but not really where my head's at until the gameplay feels good enough. Art and animation are in a similar boat, though I'm pretty sure I want to stay tonally in the established MHC universe, which is funny to say out loud, but definitely a game more on the irreverent, over-the-top, alternate timeline side of modern sports. Mini Hockey Champ kind of scratched the surface there. I think there's a lot of fun to be had exploring those ideas without the guardrails of anything realistic, especially in the off-ice portion of the game. Oh, before I forget, I mentioned on Discord the other day my desire to potentially live stream some development in the future, most likely here on YouTube. If that's something you're interested in, let me know. It would probably be less coding sessions and more me playtesting and chatting with y'all about the game or whatever you want to talk about. That's what I got. Thanks for checking this out. I appreciate your support and look forward to the next video.